Amen. Um, yeah, I mean, disappointing there at the end. Um, tail of two games. You know, go back to game one. We didn't get um, – Tristan didn't have his best command, but Malsat and Marshall did a great job in relief out of the pen. Um, only maybe one run or something and six innings or something like that. Uh, the offense was good, um, you know, the whole day. Um, Game two, you know, Darden was was great. Gave us a quality start. Um, got him out of there because he's on one day short rest, and you know, really this time of year, trying to be smart with with pitch counts and rest. So got him out of there, and then we just you know had a meltdown in the bullpen. And Eleven runs in the final three innings. Um, you know, just but we're gonna go to those guys again. I mean, we're gonna go back to Garris and Titsworth and Clayton and Gordo and. You know, those guys are, have done it all year, and it just wasn't our day-to-day, -day and there's not any time to make excuses about it. We just blew it. Um, uh, the big positive of the day was Blake Wright just put the offense on his back and got one big two-out hit after the next and ended up with seven RBIs and four hits today. And the kind of performance that, you know, you're looking for in a senior captain to, you know, finish, you finish in finals. You got a doubleheader the last day of finals, and. You know, you need a big performance like that, and you know, he and Darden uh, did a really good job. We just didn't finish the game, and uh, you know, for us to be the team we want to be, we got to finish. And so uh, we'll we'll be fine, and you know, we'll bounce back, and we'll get to play again on Sunday, and, and it'll be a, a a heck of a rubber match. Questions for Blake? Blake, when you're when you're going like this, it's the old. You know, actually, the, the the baseball looks like a beach ball. Is that the way it looks to you right now? Like you're you're picking up spin on pitches and, and just seeing it really well. Yeah, I mean, I'm just uh, trusting everything that my coaches tell me and just trusting my approach. Blake, you've played in a few double headers at this point. Um, what, what are some pros and cons of that kind of format um, from a hitting perspective? Would you say maybe team wide overall? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the pros you get to play two games, you have an opportunity to get two wins. You know. And uh, I wouldn't say there's really any cons, but a doubleheader game, it could be a trap. So you got to be able to maintain a uh, focus for 18 innings straight. What did that Louisville series kind of do for this offense? Did it, could everybody, you know, kind of woke back up a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Definitely ignited everyone, um, you know, kind of gave us some energy, kind of gave us some refocus. And, uh, you know, we had a, a really good day on offense, and uh, we're just going to have to respond on Sunday. Like, does it sting a little bit though when you have the day like you had today and, and it, it is kind of sour like that? Yeah, I mean, it just it is what it is. It's baseball. It's going to happen. But, uh, you know, we're going to come back. We're going to respond on Sunday, you know, like we, we have been doing all year. Anything else for Blake? All right, thank you, Blake. Thank you. <coughs> all right, questions for Coach? Can you pinpoint anything, maybe, you know, because you've seen a little bit. You know, trend with your bullpen where maybe what's going on is causing some of these, you know, things at the end of the game. You see strikes, and um, you know we had we had twice the the guy in game two. We started the inning with a leadoff walk uh, when you know the first hitter that the reliever is facing, and you know if they get hit, they get hit, and if the other team earns it, they earn it. You know, and it, and and I would we would all much rather see the other team hit their way on and earn it than, than walks and errors. And the, you know, the leadoff error in the ninth was tough um, to start the ninth, but you know, we, we need to be able to overcome. And we did. The next two hitters got out, which made that, that two run, two out home run even, uh, even tougher because it was with two outs. Uh, but the relievers just, you know, every pitcher, you know, it, it, there's, it's nine against one. And there's such a, um, you know, just so much wisdom and just is the old school approach of, you know, filling up the strike zone, attack the strike zone, let your defense work. Um, and we just, you know, we just, we, we struggled with that there at the end and, and we just didn't get it done. But um, when we've had some troubles in the bullpen, it's when um, free passes or errors or something just has led to big innings. Uh, you know, and then they're just exacerbated when you, have home runs after that. Uh, so if you have a walker in air, you just got to be able to, you know, what happens next, and you just got to be able to shut it down. And we didn't. We didn't, and that's a really good offense over there. I mean, we knew they were a good offense coming into the day, much better offense than what we saw in game one. 
Uh, we saw more what their capability is in game two. Uh, the Burris kid had a heck of a day and a couple of homers and big homers, and big RBIs. And, you know, they're a dangerous offense, but we, um, we just, you can't give good offenses extra outs, you can't give them free passes, you can't give them errors, and it made us pay. What, what do you say to those, to those relievers and your pitchers? You know, this is the time of year when, when you got us to, to, to kind of tighten it down a little bit. Yeah, I told them exactly what I just said a second ago, that, that Garris and Titsworth and Clayton and Gordon are you know going to go back in the game maybe as early as Sunday. So we got to just flush it and have amnesia. They've been go-to guys for us all year. They've pitched in huge spots. They've pitched in huge high-leverage spots. They've pitched in nail-biters. They've, you know, helped us win a lot of close games and be a part of a lot of you know thrilling victories and come from behinds and putting zeros up and all the things so um, you know we uh, we just it just didn't work out for us today Um, so we're not gonna you're not gonna let this one ruin our confidence I mean this time of year you're playing you're playing good teams everyone's in mid-season form everyone's like looking to get hot and you know, and, and this is the time of year where everyone is finishing academics and finishing school, and you just got you know you just got to fight through that that mental fatigue, and then we'll get a we'll, we'll get you know a surge when uh, next week when it's just baseball all the time. Um, so, but everyone's going through it. You know, this is the end of the academic year and finals for everybody. So, or most people, but um, but you know can't can't let that be a reason or an excuse we we still have to get out there and compete and we just didn't compete well enough in the strike zone and when we did they made us pay so what are you gonna do do you think um tristan that he just doesn't your opinion does does he not look comfortable out there or or what it is right there since he's come back (coughs) injury i think it's just a, a matter of just for him just getting that strike percentage as close to 60 to 64 percent as he possibly can when you know, his, his best game of the year, I think, was Duke, and he was 65% strikes that day. And when his, the higher his strike percentage is, the better he is, and the better his results are, because he's got such nasty stuff, it's so hard to hit. Um, you know, he just, you know, he'll get himself, he's gotten himself into trouble at times when he's fallen behind, pitch count's been up, walks are hit by pitches, like we saw, especially against Louisville. Um, but when he's in the box, I mean, he's got swing and miss stuff with multiple offerings. He's got to get his pitches in the box. But offensively, it's it's good. You feel like you've maybe found something with this lineup, moving Cam up to protect Blake a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I love Cam sandwiched in between Blake and Jimmy. Feels right. Feels good. Uh, the four hitters, kind of that second leadoff. That's the position in the lineup that – statistically has the second most leadoff opportunities uh, in a season and so um, you know he's Cam's a contact guy and if we need an RBI he's you know he can do that and um, then the lineup feels long with you know with Jimmy Overtop behind him but then the emergence of Bassetta and Crichton and you know Jacob Gerald and Nolan Araki have, have come up with some some big games and you know JP's fighting it right now ever since kind of last week against the Georgia series he's had a pile of strikeouts but he'll be fine he's a tough kid he's he's seen real adversity in his life he's not going to let a few strikeouts get him down he's still playing good defense and he will fight through it and he will come out the other side and he hit his way into this he's going to hit his way out he'll be just fine Mr. Coach.